Hi guys, in this lesson we will cover how to make a Pan-Tompkins algorithm for MATLAB. We can use Pan-Tompkins later on to extract the QRS signal from an ECG input data. So it's pretty useful in the detection of um, say a diseased uh, heart variability. We can look into those kind of uh, scenarios later on. For this current case, uh, I want you to focus on the equation that Pan Tompkins takes for the low pass, high pass, the differential function, the squaring, and the integrator function. So this information you can find anywhere online publicly. I am referring the book Biomedical Signal Analysis by Rangayan. So if you look at the segment of information for low pass filter, you can see this big equation. It looks very complex uh, in the beginning, but all you have to do for the sake of the MATLAB code is to separate the Y terms from the X terms. So if you take these two Y terms to the left hand side, you will see that the coefficient of YN, YN minus one and YN minus two correspond to one minus two and plus one. I've basically just transferred this to the left hand side. On the other hand, for the x terms, we have 1, then we have 5 missing terms between n minus 1 to n minus 5, so they can be comprehended as zeros, and then we have a minus 2 coefficient for the n minus 6 term, then another 5 zeros between n minus 7 to n minus 12, and then we have a plus 1 term for the n minus 12th x term. So if we want to write this in our MATLAB code, we can simply focus on the filter function because the filter function is going to give us information about the ECG signal based on our coefficients b and a. And what I have currently done by separating y terms from the x terms is separated the data of the B coefficients from the A coefficients. See, the B will correspond to the X coefficients and the A terms will correspond to the Y coefficients. So if we code that part out, it will look something like this. This code obviously uh, runs on a normalized ECG data set with a sampling frequency of 200 Hertz. And you can see that for the B coefficients, I have one, then the zeros from one to five, minus two, as I had mentioned over here, it will go to the left hand side become minus two. And similarly, for the rest of the high pass derivative squaring and integrating function. So the equations for them are given over here, all we need to do is separate the y terms from the x terms and then write the correct coefficients as required. So the squaring function of course does not have any particular um, coefficients to be given. All we can do is like square our derivative equation from the above given code. So this entire function is pretty straightforward and we end up with an integral ECG signal which we can plot uh, with a simple plot function and give it a few x label and y label. So let us run this and see what we get. So the result of our Pan Tompkins algorithm gives us this strange looking uh, curve. We can just maximize a little portion of it to see what we have gotten. This is only the QRS lines. So we can get the Q points, the R, which is the peak, and then again the bottom, which is S. So we can uh, try to find the peaks of each of these data segments and say that they are the R points, um, which we can use some useful biological conclusion. Thank you for watching this video.